Okay, check this out. This is what I like Your to refer to. Looks like trouble. Make sure she's not. How could this girl look like trouble, honestly? Now, if you're trying to level up Kate and you're a good guy, there's kind of a problem because she likes a lot of bad things. She's kind of a bad influence for the most part. As you can see, I have her in the Grognek the Barbarian gear with some extra armor. She has the axe too. She's a melee fire for the most part. Now, I bought the home plate. That makes things simpler. So if you want to level her up and you don't want to, like, you know, steal things, you know, and you don't have a lot of locks to pick, what you can do is, first of all, you have to do this. Take off all your clothes. She's into that. And then, you go up here. Let's see, Ants. You go up. And it doesn't have to be just this location, since this is really convenient. You go out onto your top porch here, and over the home plate. And come on out and just, you know, grab a chair. Then wait for two hours. And usually she'll be really close like this. That's what I have found. Then all you have to do is uh, falling down. Go back up the ladder. You jump. Go back inside. Kate liked that. Now, you can rinse, lather, repeat this. And go back outside. Wait two more hours. And it's the, the two more hour wait. It's not the chair is not magic. The location is not magic. Matter of fact, we'll show that off in a minute. Wait two hours. And so you're seeing right through her at this point. She's that close. The whole clipping thing going on there, but... This is probably one of the only ways to see Kate's underwear, too. I don't think you can actually dress her nude, but she does wear underwear. Um, so there you are. There's Kate. You get up again. She gets out of your way. You go back inside. Kate liked that. So you can farm likes on her. Easily. It can just grind through that and eventually, you know, you get all kinds of, you know, advances in the relationship. Now what we're going to do, just to demonstrate how this works, is that it really has to do with whenever you're transitioning from one area to another. And I think there, there has to be a certain amount of game time passing during your transition. So if you're taking a long trip, as long as you're willing to do it completely naked, like this, like if we go up here... If I go to Sanctuary, which I think we can all assume would take more than two hours of walking. And we wait just for a minute. I'm going to let sit through the whole load screen so we can don't miss the Kate like this. Now, she doesn't love it. She likes it. Sometimes she'll give you little comments. And yes, adhesive is rare. Blah, blah, blah. Kate like that. See? It's just that simple. So when I'm doing my normal selling water to the world kind of deal, I go down here, don't need the apparel. Yeah, there's purified water. The downside is, is because I don't have some of the adders from my uh, equipment, I can't carry as much, but I don't seem to need to carry. I can carry enough. And no sign. I haven't seen what's her name in a while here. You know, trash bag Carla, whatever the heck it is. So now we, if we travel all the way back to the Diamond City Market. And again, we're going to look at this dirty bed and sleeping in a bed when your romantic companion is nearby will grant you the lover's embrace perk. 
which is a nice thing to have on multiple characters, although you do end up with that philosophical question, would this man become a polygamist, having multiple deep relationships romantically? Personality by and that should say, Kate liked that, see? And you go back and forth, it's like every time you fast travel, all you have to do is be naked. Incidentally, this also works exactly the same way for John Hancock. Not sure I'm going to walk around naked in front of a male ghoul. It's not really, you know, my thing. But I'm also saying, not saying I won't, because, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do here to level stuff up. Oh, he's not even ready to do anything. Darn. Well, what we'll do is take it back and then milk some more likes. Watch this. You go back over here, you run around naked, or in your underpants. They call it nude, but you're in your underpants. Go to the home plate. Back to the home plate. Still has the Christmas decorations up. Probably take those down at some point, come up with something different. But yeah, for right now, I'm one of those guys who tends to leave his Christmas decorations up till... At least Russian Christmas, you know. Kate's up here. You sit in the chair. The other chair on the bottom will work too. That one will work too. But you don't get uh, the instantaneous close-up all the time of Kate. So why would you do something different than this, really? She's apparently standing on the chair. It looks like she's kind of just floating. Oh my goodness! She just launched... Did you see that? She just launched completely off the building. Kate, whoop, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. She's, she's resilient. Okay, so now when we go back Did into the... What? Go back in home plate. We should get... Don't mind me. Kay. Just admiring the view. She liked that, you see? Did you like that? Okay. Again, there's no limit to this. I'm actually kind of hoping that I cross some kind of threshold and get her quest. Because that's what I would like to do. I would like to, to max her out. Get the perk. Which I think has something to do with action points, but I'd have to look it up again. Sitting in the rain for two hours. I can see right through you, babe. You're, there's no hiding anything. Um, woo! Do, I do dig her with the whole Grognak the Barbarian uh, outfit simply because of the red hair. Got that whole Red Sonia thing going. It's a good look. Her regular look's a good look, but still. Can we get the can we talk here? Alright, at any rate, I actually did an entire other video of this whole deal and didn't turn the mic on, so I've got a whole bunch of that. Maybe I'll throw some, some of the clips of things that happened there on after this. But here, that that is the critical amount. That's how you can get Kate to like you without hardly doing anything. You don't even have to go through the effort of picking locks. Just walk around, and again, the same thing works with John Hancock. So there's your uh, your easy, easy peasy, get likes from at least two characters method. Um, unfortunately, I don't think any of the other characters are into nudity, uh, but I don't know. I could be wrong, and uh, it's worth trying. Hey, listen, what's it's funny as heck at any rate, right? There you go. This looks so awkward. It's like, well, are we going to talk? Are we going to, um, you know, what are we, what are we doing? This is the Black Knight. Have a great night. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve.
Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone. It was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Surviving the combat zone must have been rough. That's putting it nicely. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. You aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? Hey. Point out what you need and I'll get right on. You have time to talk now. Still have something important to say. Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. It would be nice to know more about you. You're saying that now. But when you hear me story, you might regret it. It all starts with two ways of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. My God, I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there's more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents, but they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time, and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's slow? Just wait. The story gets much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. 
What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You'd think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate, stripped bare for your perusal. I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this, but I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you can say that would ever change that. Oh, uh, I, well, that's, that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you too. You think she's trying to tell me something? That doesn't leave much to the imagination now, does it? Hey. What is it? Hey there. What's the matter? How do you feel about our relationship? You're the kind of person I can depend on. There aren't many people lucky enough to know someone like that. Your thoughts? It's been too long since I picked a fight. Leave much to the imagination now, does it? your help. 